Hi, I'm Ollie Kensington and I run a small film production company in Somerset in England. Today I have brought you on location to a shoot that we're doing for a local organic flower farm. We have been shooting with the C200 as our ACAM for over a year now and the EOS R has recently joined it. We use it for B-roll and I've also started using it as a second angle for interviews. Canon really have thought a great deal about how the EOS R sits in as a video device with their Cinema EOS range and that's something that's not happened before. So come with me now and we will dive in amongst the flowers with our EOS R and I'll show you how we use it on one of our productions. We use mirrorless systems on gimbals all the time, but actually I love stripping them right back to the bare essentials, just a monitor and a hand grip, and using them handheld. Even if you're not using a optical image stabilized or IS lens, the digital image stabilization in the EOS R is incredibly good too. And in fact, if you're using both, then the data from the optical stabilization system in the lens actually communicates back to the body and can be enhanced by the digital IS. All that means basically is that this camera set up for handheld use is rock steady and I love shooting this way if I possibly can. We will be capturing the interviews today at 4K 25 frames, but for the B-roll, I'm going to be shooting in full HD at 50 frames per second. The 50 frames just adds a certain amount of kind of graceful movement. The other thing that I often have wanted with a B cam with a small mirrorless system is good control over manual audio levels with good preamps. And again, the EOS R stepped up in that regard. It's got a separate 3.5mm headphone jack, a separate 3.5mm input. It's good, clean, crisp dialogue. Right now I'm using the older 85mm f1.4. It's one of my favourite lenses. I'd be lost if I couldn't use it. So the included adapter is incredibly useful. But more than that is an optional adapter that has a built-in Vary ND. That's something I've not seen before and it allows me to not only use my 85mm f1.4, it allows me to stay at f1.4 and then use the Vary ND that's built into the barrel of the adapter to adjust my exposure and maintain that aperture. If you've ever used any of Canon's DSLR range, then you will instantly be familiar with the menu system. You can make it understand your way of working, you can program in your quick shortcuts. I think one of the biggest impacts that the EOS R has brought to our film work is its extended battery life. I don't have to keep stopping to swap out the batteries, which we used to have to do with our old mirrorless system. The autofocus is amazing. It allows me to let people walk out of shot or disappear into the distance. And instead of shouting after them, hang on, I missed it, can you come back? I can just tap on them on the screen and just watch as the little box follows them off into the distance. And of course, there's also the touch autofocus, the touch drag. So we can also drag around the screen to place the focal point and allow the focal plane to just move and track as we moved our finger across the screen. You know, this is a whole new way of interacting with focus, but it's really effective and it's such a lovely way to work. There's so much that's been thought about by Canon from the neutral colour matrix to the internal 8-bit C-log to the external 10-bit C-log that you get clean over the HDMI, which allows us to shoot fantastic sunsets and other subtle gradations of colour in objects that were typically banned in 8-bit. It is incredible. It saves me a huge amount of time and allows me to work very, very quickly and we are thrilled with the images that we're getting from it. <laughs>